You're chilling with C Note the Greatest. It's on. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's up, guys? It's the leader of the CTG Nation. It's your boy C Note the Greatest, and today I got another video for you guys, alright? So today we are going to be looking at one of the most hidden builds for big men. Now you guys really enjoyed the last hidden build that I feel like no one really talks about. So now today we gotta look at those guys looking for big men. But before we get into this big man build, let me go ahead and do two things. Alright, you know I gotta show love to the crew. Y'all show love to me, I gotta show love back. And the crew that I'm talking about is the note gang bruh i just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel you got bruh you guys are special bruh you guys are really special so here's my shout out to a few of you right here in this video now if you want the chance to be featured in my next video go ahead down below in the comment section and type in note gang and maybe you can be in my next video now, the last thing before we get into this video, man, I want to tell everybody to go and follow me on Twitch. Some of you guys been coming up to your boy and been saying that y'all ain't know I been live streaming? I live stream every single day. Go follow my Twitch. It is on the screen and also in the description. Make sure to turn those notifications on. But let's go ahead and get into this big man build. Like I said before, you guys really enjoyed the last hidden build so that was just a small forward we're working on sinners now my next one might just be for the point guard so if y'all want that go ahead and hit the like button bruh and i will drop the most hidden build for a point guard now for you guys that are big men out there and you guys are looking for an overpowered build that not too many people have this video is for you all right so pay close attention we're going to be building this build together. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing that you want to do is, of course, we are going to be looking at the big man position. So the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is make sure that we are creating a big man. We're looking for centers. If y'all want a power forward build, let me know. The first thing that we're going to do is for primary skill, we want rebounding. And for that secondary skill, we're going to be putting defending. Now, this is a very cheesy build. Now, for you guys that never had to go against a lockdown defender, you're lucky. You're really lucky. Now, these defending builds are so cheesy in this game. I don't know about you guys, but these guys can run past me and I'm going to lose the ball. There is something about these defending player builds that we just don't really know about. These guys are just, they just make your player so goofy at the park, bro. Now, this player build will be great for Pro-Am and also at the park. Just by looking at all of the stat bars and also the badges, this is all you need to become a dominant center. Now, let's go ahead and break this down just a little bit more. So, if you look at the rebounder, you'll be able to rebound with the greatest. Now, for this big man build, you're really not going to want to shoot. All of your damage will be from inside the paint. This is one of the main reasons why I put defending as a secondary skill. Now, we all know, defending as a primary skill, your offense is going to suffer. This build right here has the best outcome when it comes to offense. This is a two-way rebounder. All right, now let's look at the bars real quick. Rebounding is at a great level. All right, rebounding is great. Now, hold on. On this big man, we, we can even steal? Bro, the locks are going to be out, bruh. You are going to be a clamp god with this build. The blocks are great. The vertical is going to help you, one, get those blocks, and two, also get those rebounds. Your strength will always be up because you're a big man, of course. And for your speed, your speed is looking kind of good. Now, when we look at the badges, you get three Hall of Fame badges. Brick Wall, Putback King, and Bruiser. Seven gold badges, five silver badges, and two bronze badges. But let's go ahead and think about completing this build. Now, the next thing that you have to do is figure out your height. Now, when you're dealing with this build, you either want to be 7'2 or 7'3. For this video, I'm choosing 7'3. Now, the next thing is wingspan. Please maximize your wingspan. 
Max those wingspans out, guys. It'll help you on defense, and it'll also help you out on rebounding. Now, the next thing is to choose our weight. Now, while playing with the weight, the max is 340, so I think a safe weight will be about 320, all right? You don't want to be too heavy. You don't want to be too light. But the heavier you are, it'll increase your contact dunk, your strength, and also your box out. Completely up to you. I'm going to leave that up to you. But for your shoulder width, go ahead and max your shoulder width out too. Now, it really doesn't matter for the rest if you want to be right-handed, left-handed, whatever you want to do. That is completely up to you. But when this is all said and done, this is what your player should look like. This is it right here. This is a two-way rebounder. Now, if you see a two-way or any type of defending player on the park, one, you're going to be a little bit shook, all right? You're going to not want the ball in the paint. And two, you just got to keep in mind where these guys are at all times. Because these guys will step out and contest that shot. You can throw off a couple of these other builds with this build right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the badges that you can get just by making this build. Now, we're going to be looking at the secondary and we're going to be looking at the primary badges for this build. Now, it is finally time for the best part of this video. We're going to be looking at all the badges all together. Now, we all know that this build comes with three Hall of Fame badges. Brick Wall, Bruiser, and Putback King. But I know you guys are curious about what will be your secondary badges. So this is for you guys, alright? Now for our key badges, they aren't too bad. They really aren't. We got Hustle Rebounder. We got Break Starter. It's pretty lit. We got two gold ones. Now for the secondary badges out here. Just looking at the secondary badges alone. This is what makes this build even that much better. Pick and Roller, Posterizer. Like I said before in this video, you're going to be doing mainly most of your damage in the paint. Now, this counts for both sides of the ball. You also get the Pickpocket Badge. These secondary badges really help make this build come to life, bruh. It really does. Now, with the mix of your primary or your key badges and your secondary badges, you can make this build as OP as possible just in a couple days. Now, I hope you guys find this video very helpful. Go test this build out. This is a really cheesy build, bruh. But just looking at the badges, I probably didn't even have to say that. Y'all already know what it do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here, man. Hit that like button for your boy. Comment down below if there is any other position that you guys want me to make a video about. And if you're new, go ahead and sub to the channel. Join the CTG Nation and subscribe to your boy. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy C-Note, and I'm out. Look, 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 look.